welcome to Building Brand Exclusivity. I'm your host, Shannon Oliver. Branding, it is everywhere. From the shoes we wear, to the food we eat, to the cars we drive. It's what helps give the customer a sense of trust, loyalty, and assurance of quality. It can also help grow and maintain your loyal customer base. That is, if you do it properly. Behind me is Fellowship Church. This is one of the fastest growing churches in America. And with a weekly attendance of more than 20,000, it is also one of the largest. But curiously, many of its members are completely unaware of the church's denomination affiliation. This is especially curious when you consider that Fellowship Church is, in fact, part of the Southern Baptist Convention, the largest Protestant church brand in America. Yet you won't find much mention of the Southern Baptist at Fellowship. Why then would a church with an unknown name not want to piggyback on the national brand, especially when it's affiliated with the number one Protestant brand in the country? Actually, it did, at first. Fellowship launched in 1989 is Las Colinas Baptist Church. But soon after, the church changed names in an effort to follow the recent trend in similar churches around the country that are dropping the national brand in favor of the local brand. There are several reasons for this innovative move. First, if a church like Fellowship had remained Las Colinas Baptist Church, it would have been just another Baptist church. Second, the important relationship is one between the local church and the member. People identify with the local church brand, not the national denomination brand. Third, the local brand is the only one the pastor and staff can control. By now, you might be wondering what this has to do with contracting. The answer is everything. What the megachurches discovered was a fundamental truth about branding and marketing. Consumers care about a local brand they interact with far more than they care about the national brand, even when the brand is well known. The brand defines what is owned. It says, this is mine. The brand is a shortcut and identifies the particular product as equal to a certain level of quality. The brand is a promise that a consumer can trust regarding service, performance, and treatment. When a brand becomes known and recognized, the company owning the brand is worth more money than a company with no brand. For example, coffee costs five to six dollars a pound. Add the national name to it and the price doubles. One idea to consider is that lately, there's a new trend emerging in the branding world. This is the growing strength of private labeled products. Private labeling has gone on for years for products across the board. Visit an Ace Hardware store and you'll find thousands of products private labeled for Ace. What's different about today is private labeling is more widespread than ever and private labeled products are often positioned at the top end of the sale. And now, private labeling is no longer limited to the biggest players. Now, smaller companies are able to secure the marketing, branding, sales, and profitability advantages that were limited to the largest retailers just a few years ago. Today, contractors are playing the private label game too. A few years ago, a landmark research study of homeowner buying habits for heating and cooling products highlighted the importance of the contractor to the buying process. So, how do consumers pick an equipment brand? The number one reason homeowners pick their equipment brand was the contractor's recommendation. This really isn't news to anyone who sat across the kitchen table from a homeowner and closed a sale. If the homeowner buys the salesperson and the salesperson's company, the brand of equipment is an afterthought. If the homeowner distrusts the salesperson or is uncertain about the company, no equipment brand will save the sale. The homeowner will not only accept the recommendation of the salesperson, he or she will pay a premium based on that recommendation. When homeowners consciously pay a premium, 43% of the time it was because the homeowner trusted the salesperson. In fact, 59% of the time a homeowner paid a premium, it was contractor related. So if the most important brand is the contractors, why not private label? Private labeling has long occurred in the air conditioning and plumbing industries. It's just occurred upstream of the contractor. The GE water heaters sold in this home improvement store aren't made by GE. They're private labeled water heaters manufactured by Rheem. 
Some manufacturers pay royalties to use other companies' brand names, in essence, private labeling themselves. Distributors carry private labeled lines, contractor groups have private labels, franchisers have private labeled lines, and now a growing number of contractors are private labeling. If storied brands are being sold through retail channels, and if manufacturers buy contracting companies to compete alongside their own dealers, is it so hard to imagine them offering to private label for contractors? Private labeling recognizes the importance of the contractor's brand and aligns all marketing communication around that brand, the final brand. In the heating, air conditioning, and plumbing industries, this is a growing movement. It represents an evolution by progressive contractors. Private labeling gives contractors an opportunity to offer more and get credit for it with the buying public. Contractors can take extra steps, such as adding filter dryers to air conditioners or thermostatic mixing valves to water heaters, customizing an offering for a particular geographic area and ultimately a particular home. For salespeople, private labeling means better margins and less price shopping. The salesperson no longer needs to worry about selling a homeowner on a particular solution, only to have the homeowner seek lower-priced competitive quotes for the exact solution. Private labeling is also a great customer retention program. With private labeling, consumers see the name of the contractor on the products. Even better, they see the contractor's phone number and website. Who gets a call when there's a problem five or ten years down the line? The contractor with the brand name on the product. Private labeling also boosts word of mouth marketing. When homeowners tell friends about their new system, they don't stress an equipment brand, they talk about the contractor's brand. Private labeling enhances long term brand equity for a contractor, making a company more valuable. Private labeling gives contractors a monopoly on a brand, which reduces price competition and increases closing rates. Private labeling puts the contractor in control of the channel, offering a secure future for all company employees. Private labeling is a broad movement across a number of industries. It represents the future for progressive, professional contractors. By now, you should understand how vital private labeling can be for companies progressive enough to pursue it. If your company is one of these progressive-minded companies, you can expect more control over your brand, less price competition, greater profitability, and a more secure future.